Hello everyone, welcome back to Altria's Plays Dead Cells in what is promising to be a very short-lived episode because I've just taken the Curse Sword, which is uh, one hit and you're dead. So, also it's on this uh, floor where, <laughs> I mean it's a very powerful thing. But uh, of course on this particular floor we have the option of not getting hit by the birdie things or dying. And I can see one right here, so... Luckily, we can one-shot them, so heck you, birdies. Um, this is this is basically daily stuff. The only problem is I would really like the opportunity to practice this run over and over again, right? Because it seems good to be able to uh, have a go at this, well, essentially a challenge run in on itself, but um, without sort of fear of repercussions, because the repercussions of this is that you just have to try again another time. You'd... Oh, I thought... There's a foreground thing in it, it looked like an invisible birdie thing, and uh, scared the heck out of me. So, that's heck the two C's, because that's how we do things these days. I am a millennial, uh, and don't you forget it. Also, also, um, as mentioned before, I, I, I am a snowflake. They're all snowflakes, and I am currently the one being melted upon the uncaring sun of fate. So, well, wow, that is so melancholy. <laughs> I'm in a maelstrom of my own dude majad, but who cares? Okay. Um I'm probably never gonna use this shield, and the reason I'm never gonna use this shield is that if I don't get in there first and just kill everything with my sword, I'm gonna die anyway, so who cares? Um uh, trying to use the shield for anything other than, you know last minute um sort of desperation plays. It's not gonna work out. It's really not gonna work. Didn't even see it! Literally could not see that. I had less than half a second. See, that is why I hate these enemies, and I'm gonna keep going on about it, and I'm gonna keep playing the game anyway, but I did not see that enemy. Probably it was invisible when I walked onto the screen. But for Christ's sake, give me a fucking chance. I'm getting stressed, because... <laughs> First of all, that's why people watch. I I'm sure of it. Uh, and secondly... I am trying to explain why I'm not playing the game as much, and you are not helping your case by making the game playable. Game. I appreciate the fact that that thing stops it in mid-jump, actually, because I didn't know that was going to happen. Uh, and I've been complaining about the fact that I don't know how long those jumps are, so stopping it in mid-jump there was really, really helpful, because uh, I was very clearly in the blast range. I like the lightning bolt. Mostly because nothing can attack you when you're sapping it with lightning. Much like uh, Emperor Palpatine before me. Yes, I am now Sith. Um, I, I, I really appreciate the fact that you can basically just pick things up uh, and throw them over the parapet. Um, oh no, wait, that was Darth... Spoilers, that was Darth Vader. He did that to Emperor Palpatine, who was trying to zap people with his... Lightning at the time, but was not succeeding because Darth Vader had decided to switch sides at the last minute, even though he was on the winning team. Cool. Oh, uh, let's get up here. Haha! So I think with a little bit of practice, my time is going to come back, but with these new enemies just like screwing with me, <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take before I'm actually comfortable with this game uh, again. And the reason I play this game is to be comfortable with the audience. Because, remember, this is not Dead Cells, but the uh, Mental Health Podcast. Um, so I was telling you about why I've been playing. And the reason I've not been playing is because I stopped. Uh, it's very, very simple, unfortunately. I stopped playing because things started happening that I couldn't keep up with in real life. And I needed a break, and I had a lot of backlog. But the thing that happened, the thing is, I, I simply just needed a break at the, at the time. But... It quickly became a uh, sort of. Uh, it's not that the break extended itself into perpetuity. It's merely that whilst on my break, something happened that meant I couldn't get back into it anyway, which we'll talk about some other time. Because that's a whole other ramp. Oh, I've managed it. Look at me. Do you know how I managed it? None of those damn birdies showed up for ages. Um, and. So rather than sort of rekindling the, the hobby, it is a hobby, rather than rekindling it and, and carrying on, I 
stopped completely. But the I guess the mental health side of the problem is that um, <clears throat> whatever it is inside me that is controlling this said it, it, I just got massive esteem issues. Wow! Stop! Uh, I guess that's what it is. It feels like a self-esteem issue because whenever I wanted to come back to it, I, I kind of flip-flop between having the opportunity but not the desire, and having the desire but not the opportunity, and it seemed like they were sort of constantly at a counterpoint to one another. Um, so I was going, yeah, I really want to record, but I'm at work, so I can't, or I'm going to bed, or I'm asleep, or it's three o'clock in the morning, I should not. Um, and swapping that out with, I can now record, but it's Saturday morning and I don't want to. Um, I think two powerful grenades would be much better than any of those other things. Although the ruby amulet was tempting, I would rather have the just straight up DPS. Lay it on me. Lay it on me, son. By the way, what is this... Uh, <clears throat> What is this prison depths thing? I thought the first level was the prison depths. Why are we going to it? I'm not smearing the scribe and they come in handy during your hunt. The, which one's the scribe? The first one? I don't really want to uh, spend all my money on updating all the things. And we have got gold going on again, uh, green going on again. So let us take. <clears throat> Interesting. We recycle a lot, and 300 seconds is a long time, but 69 DPS, whilst uh, an appropriate number, is not a very big one, so... Um, I don't know what my infection level is, or where it comes from, so I think we're going to learn something new. I think we're going to keep this one and try and remember to actually parry for once, because we do have um, a shield that can give us a lot more gold, and the gold might come in handy if we want to reroll some of the stats on the items that we do have. So... Promenade of the Condemned. Right, we skip the ramp. I feel like the ramparts is now after the promenade. Is that right? Because it seems to be. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right, I like lightning. I can deal with lightning. It may have a... Uh, it may have a downside to it, but it does seem to be able to kill stuff faster than that stuff can kill me. So I'm into it. Because... Less damage, less damage. So yeah, really what was happening is every time I went, I could record, something inside me went, nah. And this is a problem because really it was entirely down to, I don't feel like I can, or ought to, or I guess deserve to. That's, that's definitely self-esteem right there. Oop. Luckily, I was behind it when it attacked me, and then I didn't need to worry about <laughs> shielded nothing. That's okay. Um, I kind of got over it, but it's so difficult. It's such a difficult thing to get over because you. I don't think we're right. Um, what ends up happening is you you use what you're doing at the time as an excuse. Another one of those things where I, I'm just going to recycle something. Even though I love the Frost Blast, don't get me wrong, um, the Lightning Bolt is just owning for me, and I really appreciate having a, a weapon right now that is just better than the world. I think that's the important thing right now. The weapon is better than not having the weapon. Because it just... It just... It's just licking. It's finger licking good. Zapping every. I, the, 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 you see? I think I explained that correctly. I'm just going to ignore that thing because it's going to be a pain in my side. So, yeah, never mind. You. Heck. I, I wish that I could have recorded a lot more recently. And a lot more recently. But. What? Did you see that? It's playing to three at exactly the last moment. I can't deal with this. Let me out. <laughs> My brain. 
That was too much stuff. No one can deal with that. Oh my gosh. Good gracious. Good heavens. Bye, Crikey. He a person who called himself by Crikey. We've got any Crikes. Are the Crikes? Anyone? Who probably has been one of my friends since then. <laughs> That's a long time ago. I've been on the internet. It's such a long time because that person was also called himself by Crikey. On the internet, it's not like he was called by Crikey in real life. Give me HP and money. That's actually a really good reason to just. <laughs> Open. I can't. Oh, it tells you now. Never used it. Elite Bombardier. Not fun when there is a thing here preventing. Excuse me? Why am I here? <laughs> Not a place supposed to be. Also, those things are called Bombardiers. Who knew? Also, those Bombardiers can just eat their own bombs, for right? so, Uh There's nothing you can do to say that I should not take this. I can't even sell the item, that's how long we've, that's how long we've had it. Um, I, I, I maybe should pivot right now? I'm not gonna. Can't maybe. I feel like this combination is probably my favourite combination uh, to date. Maybe you could convince me to take something other than the shield. Uh, and luckily, I had no option to take um, take green there because then it would have been a moral quandary. Aye! I looked around because I thought someone was sneaking up behind me. It was not the case, and then that enemy snuck up behind me in the game. So I, I luckily got out of it just in time. But whew. Whew. Is there a thing there? I don't think there's a thing there, so I'm just going to go. Anyway, I had to force myself, basically. I was watching TV, YouTube, lots of YouTube. There's a, there is a lot of YouTube, which is a problem because... Oh, I've got hiccups, excuse me. I, I like watching Let's Players. Some of my favourites include Avac and, and, and Northern Lions, so check them out if you want something else to do. I also like watching makers, people who make stuff with their actual, you know, human appendages. I'm going to stop that. Really frustrating. Right, good. Um, uh, how did you die? What did that do? Was it the powerful grenade? It's powerful enough to actually beat that thing up. What? How many times do I have to hit you? How many times I have to kill you, boy? What? That thing is not... I'm so frustrated. <laughs> Here's another thing. I, I, I can't face these games right now. So I didn't want to play. But, like, I know, as I was saying, there's makers, there's YouTubers, there's um, cooking shows and, and, and food shows. And these are just like the first things that come to my head, right? I've been, oh my god, I spent the entire week watching um, that. It was just amazing timing. <laughs> well done, you. Um, I spent the whole week watching Minute Physics. Wow, what a show! It's literally just this dude talks. Um, what's physics? For ages. I was saying this. Critical hits plus 20 damage. I, I'm gonna have to switch it out, I'm sorry. But first of all, that's a starting item, so heck you. And also, um, I think this one might just be better. We do want to try and make use of our initial loadout here, even though it may have been superseded by, um, by, 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 um, by, by this backstabby thingy that I'm so fond of, but at the same time, maybe it hasn't been. But who knows? It's just because I, I'm really tempted to pivot to a survival run. Oh, no, a brutality run right now. I was going to say strategy run. It's none of them. <laughs> Even the one that's light strategy is not full strategy. Stop giving me these difficult situations. <laughs> I'm not cut out for this, I'm too old. So, anyway. Where was I? 
How far did I get? I was talking about something. I was talking about... It's kind of like burnout. Other people do that. Um, they, they experience burnout. And it's really just a... Uh, I don't think we need this. 30% off, though, apparently. Um, I, I've heard of... Hello, game. Oh. It wasn't me. I've heard of YouTubers experiencing burnout. Just whereby... Um, they just can't face recording, right? And I would suggest maybe that was it. If it weren't for the fact that I'm not a YouTuber, this is a hobby. And if I'm burned out of anything, it's not out of YouTubing. I'd love to spend all my time doing this. And if you're, you know, like and subscribe and share and watch the adverts that you're probably not getting yet, um, you know, we can we can make it happen together. But <laughs> um. No, I'm burned out of the rest of real life. You know, I, I do have a job to go through, and it's... It's trying. That's the thing. Try not to slag off my job. <laughs> because, to some extent, it's not really the job at fault. It's, it's the concept of job that is the problem. Right? You, you have to work for clients. You have to work for people and companies. and They, they don't... They're not interested in what you want. They're not interested in your expertise or your, you know, what you consider to be unfair in, in your job or you know, what you don't like doing. They just need you to do what they need you to do, which is all very well and good, but, like, why can't we just make computers do that? I think that's the problem is my job was, I, mean, I, I work in software. So it's very much like you're saying... You know, here's all the skills to make computers do your bidding, but don't use them to do that, you know. Spend three years at university and one year of work experience. Um, I want to know what that is, I'm going to unlock it. Spend all this time learning how to be, <laughs> right, uh, an amazing software developer who Poison's enemies blocked with a parry. I'm gonna re Poison might be okay. Because we, we get this. So we can parry something and stab it, which would be really good. Uh, but, you know, don't you dare actually put that expertise into writing software that basically does your job for you. Instead, do the boring bit that the computer could be doing uh, at the behest of people who have no idea what software is about. And I think that's, that's a standard complaint about basically all software people except with millennials around and and startups like startups and millennials are the same basic thing um i've gone for more survival things by the way even though i am slightly pivoting because until we get further through i really think that's going to be a good idea uh we can sort of try and balance our survival and melee damage but i think we can still get DPS out of survival, is my point here. Um, it's, it's kind of the standard software engineer complaint, which is you need to have the funding and, and the whatever expertise and ability. Why are we fighting in the league? Um, that's interesting. What does this do? Hold on, hold on. We'll come back to talking about real life when the game has stopped being interesting. Permanent rune unlocks a custom mode. Interesting. So I had to get this far just to do this. Um, this is amazing. Except that it sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Um, the, the drop is amazing. The concept is amazing. What actually I got out of it? This is bad. What did I do? Can I do it again? Also, I think I just reflected. What is happening? Is my hindbrain finally doing its damn job? Nice. It might be, you know. Nope. I didn't see that one. Oh, it's like chess! <laughs> Stop hurting me! <laughs> Correct. Where did you go? There you are. That was lucky because I didn't think I was going to hit. Um, where am I going here? 
Yeah, look, these things are basically from here. I think they're from here in easy mode, except now this is hard mode, so they're from the first floor as well, which is just not fair. I can see you. That time I saw it, when I had a curse sword, and then I immediately died for not seeing it. I didn't. Stop, though. <laughs> I actually to go silent because I was getting really confused with that. Good. Okay. Did parry that. So this is why I think we should probably stick with our uh, green mode for now, our green build, even though we have a red sword. First of all, I'm half expecting to get an even better item, maybe a colourless version of this or, or something like that. Uh, a colourless melee would probably beat this. Uh, also, we could go straight to the Black Bridge if you wanted to. Um, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. I appreciate our um, skills at the moment. So... so that's helping too. I think we've, we've crossed over the uh, salt plains. <laughs> salt plains. Like shimmering flats in World of Warcraft. I've never played! <laughs> no one would ever have played World of Warcraft. No! Nope. Nice. Good use of sword. Uh, good use of shield there. Poisons enemies that wound you. That's going to really help with my, uh, my current synergies, actually. I like the downward smash burning ground thingy. That's probably one of my favorites. Anyway. Yeah, I, I'm burned out of doing work. I'd like to take a sabbatical, but I'm not paid enough. <laughs> and the, what that means is I haven't got any savings because I'm a millennial. And nobody born in the late 20th century deserves a living wage. So let alone a, a one that can actually pick you up in the coming years. You do have a pension, maybe should just retire. Do I have a pension? This one. By the way, where did you come from? I pressed the Y button and you did nothing. So really what am I supposed to do at that point? You know? I think I've done everything that I possibly can. And I need to meet my halfway game, basically that's what I'm saying. If you parry it just right, it will knock it out, and then you can um, fight back. What's all this noise? You hearing this noise? I don't know. Goodness me. Playing with headphones on is the worst thing, because who knows what's happening in the background. Anyway, here I am. <laughs> Finally got over it. Um, yeah, so Jen added 59 videos. 59 videos to a playlist. And I have this problem, which I've, I'm going to consider it a mental health problem, even though it's possibly a... I mean, there's, there's conditions and there's disorders and there's a whole different bunch of words and loads of different things, but I don't really know what the difference is, right? Um, what is ADD? Not like, what does it mean, but what do you consider it to be? And is it a condition or a disorder? Right. Is it a mental health problem? Or is it just a... I mean, there's mental health disorders, there's personality disorders, there's mental health problems, and, you know, there's mental sickness and mental disease. A whole spectrum of things that basically mean there's something wrong with your head. Go fix it. <laughs> uh, and then a whole spectrum of things that says you were born with something wrong with you, and try and deal with it. And uh, I mean, I recently learned that maybe I got one of those, but how does one deal? I don't know. So here I am, wondering, pretending I'm a Superman, holding on to what I am. I didn't. What? Just Superman. Whenever I see one of those, I just throw my grenade and you can't stop me. What did I do? How did it work? Nice, nice. Um. Missed. 
Uh, in time, actually, not in space. Still, it's missed. Um, whereby you put me down in front of the TV and say, "Here's a bunch." I, I I hate to miss out. That's the crux of it. Um, even if it's not stuff that I necessarily cared to see in the first place, I I am now adamant that I must watch it, and that's the way this is gonna work for the longest time because especially if I'm putting off doing something that I know that I should do even if it's something that I know I want to do interesting all victim such a good idea but I think no not this time oh, it's... these are the decisions that I find it difficult to make in this game because that could have been so good having all enemies pierced I wonder if it ignores shields I know there was Malachi on the way up there, but who cares? Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm ill. I'm a snowflake. Um, how, how do I not? This is the problem that I'm reasonably often facing, is that I don't know how to say, okay, you do that, I'm going to do this. And this is the thing that I've been wanting to do. Literally this. How do I say... You do that. I want to, but I'm okay on missing it. When I'd rather say, oh, that seems like a much better idea than doing the things that I've now made myself feel like I'm obliged to do, right? Um, and I hate to put it in those, those terms, because for the longest time, I did feel obliged. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Hang on. <coughs> that was what Northern Line calls granola throat. I didn't have granola, but I had... Um, Jen made a cheese toasty. What's she calls it? Grilled cheese. Even though a grilled cheese. Americans would call it grilled cheese. This is fried cheese. Um, basically, if you haven't got a toasty maker, you should have a toasty maker. Um, if you don't have a toasty maker, then I sympathize with you because I am in the same camp slash boat. But um, you can make a reasonable, in fact, pretty decent facsimile of a cheese toasty if you're a Jen. Uh, which I'm not, but Jen made it, so, you know, it works out using naught but the frying pan and a lid therefore uh, and by therefore i mean bolt that thing and not there forwards which is therefore with an e on the end and this was therefore without any on the end so uh, i'm sure there's another way of saying that so it's not confusing but you know english does tend to allow you the opportunity to instead of saying the words that would have made sense originally you say a much more complicated thing so you then have to spend more words explaining than you would have had to say in the first place if you just used the right words to begin with anyway the point is First of all, I would like some HP back, so I'm going to parry many things. Uh, and secondly, it was a bit of uh, said toasty. What you do is, hey, you um, stop being invisible. I think I would be fine with those things if they weren't so stubbornly invisible all the damn time. Come on then. Bite your legs off. Um, you, you make a toasty as you would. And by the way, if you don't know how to make a toasty, you're in for a treat. I'm going to educate you right now. Now, this is going to sound crazy. Some of this is going to sound crazy to everybody, and some of this is going to sound like, yeah, obviously, um, if you kind of already know how to make a toasty. But if you don't, like maybe you are not of a culture that traditionally has been a, a toasty, toasty eating... Um, sort of society up to now. Um, hold on. Mm. I use my right hand so I can't press RB. If you are a, not a toast eating society then you will not understand. What you have to do is you have to make a sandwich inside out. So you take your cheese, obviously it's got to be cheese, because otherwise why are you, you know, cooking it? Uh, it's a, it's a cooked sandwich so you're gonna want to be putting cheese in that because it's cooked cheese sandwich and like what are you you're missing out okay if you don't do that 
Uh, these are all fine. Upgrade that. Explode is good. I don't care about the frozen bit. Uh, we might as well spend some money on... Might as well use this. Keep keep going with the survival, because having the shield and two survival weapons uh, also means that we have this... Um... Selection to choose from, which I think is going to be slightly better than... Oh, I don't know. I don't know how much infection I've got. Do I have any? Let's take this one. It's not going to be good for the next level because that's just straight up a boss, but which might actually kill us because I'm terrible at this game. I think we've been through that. Um, you, you take the filling of the sandwich and obviously you butter your bread because only southern heathens don't butter their bread in the sandwich uh, when making any form of sandwich. But you... Put the... Why were you on the wrong side of me? And I don't... Just rewind a little bit. I'm pretty sure that what just happened was... I, um... I backstabbed it, and then it hit me in the opposite direction. And then nevertheless... I took damage. If you are not familiar with the concept of putting butter on your bread when you are making a sandwich, I suggest you get familiar with the idea of putting butter on your bread when making a sandwich because it's the best thing in the world. Not putting butter on your bread versus like not putting the filling. It's part of the filling. You do get more HP back if you carry a boss. Can't do anything about that. He was too close. Didn't like it. What are you going to do? Oh! Daniel needs what you're doing. That one. There we go. Go here and then run out of that zappy thing before you get near me because I'm not here for that. Miss me with that. Nice. That's my list as well. Um. Anyway, point is, first of all, you put the button on the outside. Everyone knows this. How did I press the X button when the Y button was the one that... I stood there on purpose in order to parry that attack, and then I didn't press the parry button. Press the attack button. Well, at least that's the 30 minute episode. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, I will tell you how to make a cheese toasty, but until then, I'll see ya.